here we have a typical flask that we use to grow the algae. And as you can see, when they're shaking down there, this helps mix the algae. UC San Diego scientist Frank Field spends a lot of time in this lab where he and other researchers grow algae samples, including one specific species, Chlamydomonas reinhardi, that he says has been studied and used in different products for decades, but not as a food product. We've usually explored it as a host for the production of pharmaceuticals or biofuels. But now that we're starting to look at how can we use algae as food, we wanted to focus on this species. Scientists first looked at the effects of algae in mice and then asked a group of about 50 people to eat a couple of scoops of this free-dried algae powder for a month. Field says it tastes like matcha green tea powder and you can mix it with water or with other foods. This is 40 to 50 percent protein, 10 to 20 percent oil, um, some carbohydrates, some fiber, a lot of vitamins. Half the people in the study had healthy guts. The other half had stomach issues like irritable bowel syndrome. And what we found in both the case of the mice and our human volunteers is that they both improved in terms of their gastrointestinal function over time as they were eating this algae. Other forms of algae can be found in nutritional stores, but this specific species is new to the health world. Field says the study shows some preliminary evidence that it could help people with their gut problems. There hasn't been a study like this before, so this was kind of just the tip of the spear. Field says the company making this powder algae product is hoping to do a larger study with more people. Shalina Chotlani, KPBS News.